place. It feels like... like a prison. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling... Like something is waiting for us down here. You've a knack for ominous statements, lad. What kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy, we will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. A Valkyrie? Imprisoned? She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude, but my sisters remain trapped as I was. Take my helm. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rests on your shoulders. pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? A fair question, and yet not one easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. The full experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, Ed. As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures, but perhaps if we can free more of them... You want us to find more of those things? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy endeavor there is not. It will be. Ah, 
I see. The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Balder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Fair's vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing? I will show you. Let's try this again. Without interruption.
Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. When I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was open to- upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this back? I don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Naturally. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. I was kind of hoping, though. Brother, a trap for the winds of hell. But where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. You may lose it, brother. Well, that's unfriendly.
How'd you know that was there? Experience. <laughs> On either side. Yeah, the boy. Too small for father. Go. Careful, brother. The is not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. Quiet. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? Not as simple as that, I'm afraid. In that vault that set you off. It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. Yeah. 
More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. That's something. But it saved you. That was cunning, boy. Free! I think we did it! Aye. Let's go see what Tears got for us. What should we do? We keep going. There it is! We've got it! Boy. Myself. And when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. 
must be better than me. Understand? Say it. Or you will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. No match for us gods. I have beaten bigger. Hmm. Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sandball back up? close to the end. journey's end. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? <laughs> it's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. 
You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah, but who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. <laughs>